Good evening everyone, my name is Remus Oluatobi, I'm from TechBasis and today we're going to look at how to use your control your prison life studio with your phone and if you look at your prison life studio it's a very robust application for streaming um, in a sort of what you do as if you're a gamer or you do live streaming for a business or you want to just you, are, you run a podcast you can actually use it to do what you need to do now if you are just the only one actually streaming or you're the only one doing the podcast at the time and you have some other things you're doing and you also want to or probably on the camera and you have your phone with you you don't need to be coming to the system back and forth you can actually stay where you are rather on the seat camera and you can still be streaming and you can still be switching from one camera to another if you have a monitor you're using to monitor what is happening now what do you need to use to what do you need to use to what to connect or to use as to what will you use to connect or to to control the prison life studio it's just what you need is your phone and how do you do that on the prison life so that's what we're going to look at today now at every icon that is actually on this system on the prison life studio they have any particular thing they actually represent and now we're going to look at the last icon which looks like a remote here we're going to click when you just move your cursor on it you will see connect remote control now when you click on the remote control you have a qr code and you will see static board here remotely connect prison broadcasting using your mobile phone that is we need our mobile phone and we need to install prison uh, live studio for mobile phone whether on your android play store or your apple play store now we're going to switch over to our android phone or our ipad or iphone to see how to control for the benefit of this video i'm going to use an android phone let's see you moments later when it comes up it's going to show you scan live video and picture actually at the moment what we need is connect we want to connect using the qr the phone on our android phone by scanning the qr code we have on the system let's see what's going to happen now right now we have we have scanned and it's showing that connected to tech basic x21 that is connecting to my phone now it's actually connected with to my phone we're connected to my phone presently and we're using the the mobile app to control what's happening on the screen now if you look at this screen on the android now you could see that you have go live start recording studio mode and i've changed to now switch off the studio mode you have a single mode on the screen presently if you return back you give it back the studio mode which is fantastic and you also had add 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 into life then you can add to life then you have you could see all my scene i've named them game one scene one if i click on game one now what is on game one we actually appear on the screen and if i click on the plus sign i have everything that is on game one everything that is on game one will be added and i can actually switch them to the scene if i click on that it goes straight to the scene if i click on screen 2 you have it on the screen then i click on go live add to life one add to life it goes straight live whatsoever that is on it let's go back to uh what else do we have here let's look at the facebook chat let's look at the background let's go back and let's tell the system that uh, the mobile app go live that's from my phone and one of the things that make it easier for you is this if you have everything itemized that's why go back and look at my previous video i said if you are a streamer or you are using any streaming software you must be organized you must structure anything you're streaming and when you do that it make it easier for you to know the exact thing you want to do now if i have put it there um since 17 is my um i have welcome there i want to take this facebook of welcome of the background of uh, you see i have welcome and whatsoever i want to add i put it there now let's go back to scene two what do we have on scene two 
I click on the plus sign, what do you have on scene 2? Whatsoever we have on scene 2, um, do I have this scene 2, hard scene 2, if you want to hard scene 2, then whatsoever, if there's anything on scene 2, I can actually still, I can delete, okay, I don't want this, um, do I duplicate, did I duplicate anything? I, I can actually take them off. Now let's go back to scene 3 and I click on scene 3. What else do I have on scene 3? I have the intro, I have tech basis. Let's put tech basis back and I go back and I say add to life. It's showing me the exact thing that I've imputed into the system and into a prison life studio in the scene and the source that means your scene and source must be properly organized and when it's organized you can actually get the best out of your um, remote um, the remote using um, you get the best out of your um, the application while you're remotely controlling your prison life studio with your phone if you have structured it well it makes things easier for you. you you can see when i switch this next page you wish to add a new desk it can continue to add you can increase the volume if you want you can reduce the volume from here if you want you can work the life here you can let's see if let, okay let me see do we have a chart you say i don't have a chart i can start recording you start recording now i stop the recording if i want to go live I can actually click on go live from here. I can actually click on live from here. Because I have my YouTube actually on it, um, I can actually go live from here because I've actually set it. And I, I don't need to go live because I'm just trying to do a demonstration. And that is how you could use the maximize the, um, the application from your PC application from your phone so that you could use your phone to remotely change any scene, any source and insert what you need to insert. Thank you for watching. We'll meet again in our next video. Bye for now.